Governor Newsom has initiated a law criminalizing misinformation about uh, mail-in voting. And mail-in voting is widely recognized as a loophole that can, uh, uh, you could drive a, a, a tractor through uh, whatever the legitimate vote is. What are your concerns about the way that the, the, the uh, once people have cast their votes, and the two weeks after, what can be done? First of all, dissect it too. The solicited mail-in ballot is very secure, it's very solid because people have to request it. It's the unsolicited mail-in ballots that have been mailed out on a massive, multi-millions of them are going out. That's where the problem is. You're going to have human error in every single county. You're going to have human error throughout the entire state. That's why they extended the count time for 17 days because they know the human error is there. Millions of ballots are going out. It's going to take time for them to be mailed there and counted. So that's where the problem is. It's not that the counting is going to be wrong. It's the fraudulent how would you say uh, vulnerability of more ballots being stuffed in that they don't know where they're coming from because they're not going to do signature veri verification either. So the Republicans are encouraging poll watchers to come out at, at the polling places, but who's watching, who's inspecting the ballot harvesting? How can that stuff be uh, protected against? Well, that's where it used to be the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department would pick up all the ballots from every single one of the polls. Now it's just delivered. There is no real security measures involved. So people are showing up at the LA County Recorder's Office with boxes of ballots. They have no idea where they've come from. This is, like I said, where the human error aspect gets into play. We need to focus on election integrity and bring it back, regardless of who it is, Republican or Democrat, it doesn't matter. The citizens of the state of California and your county, they have to rely on election integrity that the person who won the election actually won it. Congressman Adam Schiff is running ads against Republican Eric Early exclusively on the basis that he supports President Trump. Is that what this election is coming down to for uh, local congressional seats? This is what the Democrats have been relying on, is everybody's hatred and hostility towards President Donald Trump. This is why the massive negative news about President Trump has been constant for the last two years. So people have this animosity, but this is what the Democrats are relying on. They use race relations, race wars to get their point across, when in reality it's not race wars or race relations. It's called class wars and class relations. They want a ruling class. We don't want a ruling class. We want to be able to, and this is Republican and Democrat across the board. This is why more Democrats are waking up to the fact that the arbitrary laws in the state of California, shutting your businesses down, are not good. They're saying that we're tired of the one party system in California. We want our freedoms and our civil rights back. They, they recognize it's a class war. Finally, what are your thoughts about this, uh, this law that Governor Newsom passed uh, in terms of who defines what's misinformation, sharing misinformation. People on, on Facebook share articles that are later deemed uh, partially uh, and, and, uh, with, with partial uh, 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 flaws according to their fact checkers and then the entire uh, Facebook page gets shut down. What concerns do you have about this idea of uh, thought crimes and who decides? Well, this is, I've, I've been a subject to that as well. I reposted an article from Oregon where a guy was, was arrested for arson. He was released because of the no bail system. He was rearrested for setting six more fires. Okay, you remember that article. Facebook took that article off. I didn't have any opinion. I said it's failed policies and that's it. They took it off and actually threatened that if I posted something of misinformation like that again, they would shut my entire Facebook page down. This is where Gavin Newsom and the big tech companies here in California are destroying the integrity of our elections. Something's got to be done about it, and it's something I intend on doing when I'm elected to office. <laughs> now we, we just need to get out and vote November 3rd. We can flip this seat. There's no questions about it. 
You know, John Lee won the district, which is 50% of the congressional district. He won it by 17 points. Mike Garcia won the Republican seat back by 17 points. We have two great candidates, Republican candidates for State Assembly 38, which is 40% of the district. This district can be flipped. It's a matter of getting out and voting. If you want to fight for your freedoms, you want to fight the free, for the freedoms of your children, you need to get out and vote, and the incumbent's got to be voted out of office. Because Brad Sherman has been nothing but bad for the district. He supports Antifa, which is anti-Semitic. He supports BLM, which has proven to be anti-Semitic. He supports the defunding of the police departments, which is going to affect, in a massive negative way, all the underserved in the communities. He supports calling LAPD murderers. This is not somebody who's looking after the best interest of the district. I am standing up to fight for this district. My family was here, my family roots are here, my support system is here in the San Fernando Valley. I'm going to bring back industry, I'm going to bring back manufacturing, that means good paying jobs for all of you. The biggest thing I'm going to bring back is the integrity of the office. It's not going to be a politically party run office. It's going to be run for the district itself and everybody to bring back the dignity of the hardworking people in the San Fernando Valley.